Hi, I'm Craig. And I'm Corey. And we're a couple of Oregon transplants out here discovering the Midwest a little more every day and sharing it with you right here on The Corn Fed Life. Save me a piece of that corn. Hey, this is Corn Fed Craig here. We're coming to you with a brand new segment. We are going to be talking to Midwesterners. So we're gonna try to get a nice swath of people all the way from college kids up to old farmers and everybody in between. So we're gonna just be out talking to people, getting their take on different things, maybe some news, maybe different issues, maybe just uh, their favorite place to eat or something. So if you have good ideas for us that you'd like to see in some of these segments, or if you like the segment or you hate the segment, please let us know in the comments below and we'll know whether we should keep on doing these. So anyway, stay tuned and we hope you enjoy. Okay, we're here on the campus of KU talking to... Dylan Acree. Dylan Acree, and where are you from? I'm from Waynesville, Missouri. Waynesville, Missouri, so uh, our neighbor to the east, right? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, can you give us your take as a Midwest college student on the Russia-Ukraine conflict? Um, honestly, I don't know the most that I could, but honestly, it's something that definitely needs to end. But <laughs> like I said, I don't know too much. Uh-huh. But um, From what you have heard, like I, in the media and stuff, uh, who do you think is, uh, is there a bad guy, good guy situation or is it? Um, definitely from what I've read, I've seen that Russia is definitely the bad guy and that Ukraine is definitely uh, taking a big hit, which I don't think they should have to deal with, but they're doing, they're doing quite well for themselves. Okay. Say. And what do you think about that? Uh, seems like all the countries are kind of angry at Russia, but, and they're sending Ukraine stuff, right? You've probably yeah. seen that, but nobody really wants to step in and help. Yeah. What's your um, take on that? So I definitely think that it's, uh, we, sh I think we should step in, but I know that it could cause an even bigger conflict. And as much as I want, like, I think the best thing that we're doing right now is sending aid and kind of, um, what, Finland and, uh, what is it, Sweden's doing? Like, just sending as much supplies as they can to help out the people that are there. Okay, awesome. And you haven't heard much about it from your professors or anything um, here? No, we haven't talked too much about it with our professors because okay. they kind of keep, uh, they've tried to keep their political views a little more um, to themselves. Well, that's awesome. That's how yeah. it should be, I believe. Yeah, no, same here. <laughs> <laughs> right? Let the students decide. All right, and what's your major? Um, I'm kind of open option right now, but I'm going into psychology, hopefully. Okay, awesome. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you very much. Have Thank you. Lunch. We're here right now with? Matthew Gafford. And what's your major here at KU? Biology. Biology, awesome. And uh, if you could just share with us a little about your take on the whole Russia-Ukraine conflict. Um, I mean, obviously not good. I mean... I don't really have too much of like a really strong opinion. Obviously, I don't think it should be happening, and it's very much not good. But I mean, that's pretty much my my right? opinion. Yeah. Yeah, and so the, it seems like uh, the media and everybody is kind of uh, taking the Ukrainian side. Wouldn't you say that was a fair assessment? I would say that is a fair assessment. And yes. do you think that we should uh, trust that, or do you think there could be two sides to this, or do you think I, it's pretty much a one-sided deal? Think it's fairly one-sided. Yes. Just Russia is uh, being the aggressor? I think so, yep. Okay. And uh, any opinion on the fact that uh, a lot of the world is sending aid, weapons, and stuff to Ukraine, but nobody is willing to step in and actually help them? Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that. I'd rather them, you know, actually send some stuff and, like, shut it down pretty early. But um, I think sending aid can only do so much um, for them. But, yeah. Yeah, because it seems like it's pretty universal, right? Like, all the countries are saying, oh, Russia's bad, but nobody's willing to actually go in and help. They're just anything, like, yes. here, here's here's some stuff. <laughs> exactly, yeah, I know. Here's some stuff, do it yourself. But yeah, I know, and, not to the best. And has uh, any of your professors discussed this in any of your classes? Um, I mean, yeah, there's been some mention of it that a couple of them have actually, like, talked about and talked about when, like, it just started and stuff like that. So, yeah, most of my professors have mentioned it, yeah. Oh, okay, and are they pretty pro-Ukraine or pro-Russia? Yeah, pro-Ukraine. I'm here right now with... Alana. Alana, and what's your major here at KU? Psychology. 
psychology awesome and can you give us your take on the russia ukraine conflict uh yeah sure anything specific you're wanting to know or just my general just your general opinion and then i'll ask you a couple questions i mean uh the russian federation launched an attack on a sovereign country for the first time that this has happened since world war ii um it was completely unprompted it's purely imperialist and like it there's no there's no other side to it russia attacked its neighbor in a like cold war-esque um i mean it's, it's a little more than a land grab it's it's just nostalgia for the soviet union and um what what is your take on uh the fact that it seems like a lot of the like everybody all the countries in the world have pretty much condemned russia for the most part um and uh, everybody's sending weapons and tanks and whatever. But what do you think about the fact that nobody's actually stepping in to help? Do you think that should be done or is this the right course? Unfortunately, with this kind of thing, that is the right course because when you're talking about uh, nuclear capable countries, especially ones that have as is, is loose of a, of a first strike policy as, as Russia, um, there's there's really a limited amount of things you can do. Um, even honestly, the fact that like we're sending uh, anti-tank missiles to uh, the Ukraine is something of a provocation. I think that it, it's fine where it is. I think it's unfortunate that more can't be done. I think it would be great if um, the United States and like the EU could could actually support the Ukraine directly, but they just can't. It would be an act of war, and that would spiral out of control. Okay. Awesome. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Olathe. That's right here in Kansas, right? Yes, that is. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time today. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. No problem. Right now we're talking with? Uh, Reed McCants. And Reed, what's your major here at KU? I'm um, a mechanical engineer. Awesome. And where are you from? I'm from Overland Park, Kansas. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, can you give us basically just overall opinion on the Russia-Ukraine conflict? Sure. Um, well, one, it's not very good. Uh, especially for Russia, because they don't seem to be doing too well. A whole bunch of businesses and stuff are pulling out of Russia, and they they seem to be losing the war overall, as far as I can tell. Um, though I can I can kind of understand why uh, Russia might attack Ukraine with a whole like the whole bunch of oil that's going through Ukraine that uh, Russia gets like kind of fed off of. Right. Um, uh, but overall, it's it's one. It's bad for Russia because Russia's not working out with that, uh, and it's bad for Ukraine because a whole bunch of citizens in Ukraine are dying. So uh, it it seems like a, a useless war in general right now. Okay, but you seem to think it's not totally one sided. Like maybe they had some reasons to do this. Well, I mean, there there wouldn't be a reason. Like there's got to be a reason to go to war. There's no reason you uh, use all your resources to go to war. Uh, without a, like a legitimate reason or at least one you think is a legitimate reason okay uh but all in all it it doesn't seem to be working out yeah. uh for for russia in the case yeah what's your take on the fact that uh you've probably heard that like so many countries including ours is sending uh all kinds of aid and weapons to ukraine a whole right bunch, exactly uh, but nobody's willing to actually like step in and help uh what is your take on that um well I, as far as i know uh, Ukraine isn't a part of NATO right now, so they don't really have any ground or, or a contract to help them with our own civilians, or uh, not, not our civilians, but with our own military. Right. Um, uh, I personally, as a taxpayer, wouldn't want to uh, be paying our government to go fight somebody else's war. Uh, you know, same thing with uh, a whole bunch of stuff in Afghanistan, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for sharing your perspective today. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for, for allowing me to do this. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. And we're talking now with, um, Cameron Sadler, uh, senior in high school, uh, and I a guess. barista. Now I work the kitchen, but Oh, part of the kitchen crew here. Yeah. At the cattle uh -huh. in Beloit, Kansas. Beloit, All right. Kansas. So if you could just share with us. Um, what your thoughts are on the Russia-Ukraine conflict? It's kind of scary to think that something like that's going on. It's not really good for anyone. Uh, you hear about that and you think that's something that's happening that you probably won't ever 
get to be there for. You just are thankful for what you have in your little community here. It's like, you can't help but worry about stuff like that, but yeah. yeah and do you have any thoughts on, uh, um, like, it seems like a lot of the news coverage talks about that Russia is the aggressor. And, um, do you have any thoughts on that? Like, which group is uh, right or wrong or anything like that? Or I think that escalating military conflict and operations is not really the way to go about getting what you want, but that's just what I think. Okay, and uh, last question. Um, seems like a lot of the world is shipping like weapons and aid over to Ukraine, Yeah, uh, but nobody actually is willing to like go and help them. I mean, uh, it's kind of <laughs> kind of similar to like uh, you know how world the world wars kicked off. Everyone had each other's back. So when one person went into war, it's like, well, now we have to jump in. I think everyone's trying to avoid another situation like that where we have huge conflicts and it's yeah, it's kind of crazy that you know. I was thinking like it'd be nice to just live in a generation where nothing really super in intense or interesting happens, but I'm living through stuff now. We're here on the Ebert Century Farm. Is that what it's yeah. called? with Mike Ebert and uh, he's been farming most of his life and uh, so Mike what we're doing we're getting uh, Midwestern's opinion on the middle on the not the Middle East conflict <laughs> we're getting the the Midwest opinion on the Russia Ukraine conflict so can you share your thoughts about that well my personal opinion is that when Mr. Trump was president he made a comment about hey Putin if you're going to cause trouble, we're going to come in and level Moscow. I think it's, that should be done. I really think it should be done. I'm a straightforward person that just kind of says what's on my mind. Uh, what are your thoughts about uh, how the whole world is coming to the aid of Ukraine? Well, not their aid. They're basically, everybody says they're on the Ukraine side, but and they ship them weapons and stuff, but nobody's willing to go there and help them. What, what do you think about that? Step forward, I think we should. You know, granted, it, there's, I'm sure, a lot of politics involved, but what Putin is doing is, is genuine, basically I mean, he had no business going in there anyway, in my opinion. I mean, you. it's just one of them deals that I want to rule the roost and the heck with the small man and it's kind of like farming today. You know, the big man gets a lot of breaks, the little man has to struggle to make things work. Same scenario. Well, thanks for talking with us today and sharing all that. So we're parked out by the lake to let you know that if you liked that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, if you go to the description below, you can find a link to our online store where you can buy all kinds of fun corn fed merchandise like this one of a kind t-shirt or if you want to go a step further and support us in our corn fed endeavors you can buy us an ear of corn or two by going to patreon.com forward slash corn fed life and for as little as one dollar a month you can help support some starving youtubers thanks for watching